Competition watchdogs have expressed concern at the nationalization of the shipyard at the center of a ferry building fiasco and warned it may impact the wider industry in future. The Competition and Markets Authority has warned about the potential risks of state control over the way ferries are operated, run and paid for in Scotland. In an analysis, the CMA has warned of the dangers of now government-owned Ferguson Marine being awarded work without a competitive tender process, saying it is unlikely to make it a commercially sustainable business and it may also have a negative impact on the wider industry. It comes amid an increasingly bitter battle raging over how the £97 million project for two ferries is now costing nearly £230 million with no sign of either being available to passengers in the near future. One of the ferries, MV Glen Sanux, which is destined for the Aranardrossen route, was due to enter service in the summer of 2018, but construction delays meant that was put back. The second vessel, known as Hull 802, was supposed to be delivered to Kalmak in the autumn of 2018 for use on the Ugalok Madi Darbut Triangle, but that has also been held up. Now the trade regulator has stepped in and, and said the future procurement process should be neutral and ensure it doesn't favour a state provider. The CMA added it would be happy to engage with the Scottish government to help develop its thinking on how to procure goods and services while fostering competition across the sector. The two new dual-fuel boats, the first UK-built hybrid ships capable of running off liquefied natural gas as well as conventional diesel, are being built by Ferguson Marine Engineering Limited, FMEL, formerly owned by billionaire Jim McCall, a member of the First Minister's Council of Economic Advisers. The yard collapsed last year with debts of £49 million to the Scottish Government, and was eventually taken into public ownership. Dr Ralph Baird, an expert transport advisor to the Scottish Government, has given his own damning indictment of the nation's procurement process, saying it is primarily the result of cocooning inside three levels of Scottish Government control bureaucracy. He said this is Transport Scotland as funders, the procuring and ferry owning company, Caledonian Maritime Assets Limited, CMAL and ferry operators Kalmak. In a stark assessment given to ministers, Dr. Baird said, within these three levels of bureaucracy, the senior staff are predominantly, not all, people who either don't know much about the global ferry industry or don't care. This is not a criticism, just an observation. Adding to this outdated infrastructures and a less than helpful attitude by the RMT union, results in Scotland holding the unenviable reputation of having the world's highest ferry subsidy per head of populate. For more on this story, visit the news article link.